Hey, what's up, dude? You seem cool. Yeah, man! What's good? Are you okay? Of course! Nothing's wrong! Why are you shouting so loud? Yelling? I'm not yelling! When the moon is in Leo, you have an expressive demeanor, and there's life in what you do. Young lad! The fuck? Yes, young lad, I'm talking to you. There is no life in your voice. W what do you mean? Look at the camera. Now look at me. Give them some life, young lad. When the moon is in Leo, there's vibrance in your energy, and there is life in what you do. The moon in Leo extends itself to generating magnificent amount of energy. Aries is more raw. Leo is literally magnificent with the hair flip on top. And there is a royal je ne sais quoi swagger of energy that people with Moon and Leo carry with them. You know when they're in the room. And when you're around them, it literally heats up with their energy. And they can flare at will. When the moon is in Leo, you have a soul that has so much energy. These people can party non-stop. Or even if they don't party, they can extend themselves in activity and they'll be the ones that are still going on whereas other people have stopped because they're tired or don't have as much energy. The moon in Leo gives someone a soul of love. This is what naturally makes them charismatic. They were nurtured by someone who fed them a lot of love, who taught them that they should be creative, who actually encouraged their more creative expressions. Even if their mother was someone strict, the nurturing influence allowed them, maybe in rebellion, to express the more sexual and creative parts of their soul, but more so of them. It's not that it's not that the moon in Leo is hungry for attention, but there is a need for self-expression and to cooperate and honestly join in some fun. When you're bland and when you don't have life, it's literally very boring and they can't breathe as opposed to when there's fullness in your expression. You will never know what it's like to be in the face of danger. I looked that girl right in the eyes and I told her, you don't want to do that to yourself. You don't want to do that to yourself. Let's go back to the car. Let's eat this jambalaya and let's be friends. You know what she told me? She told me, let's do that. Let's do that. And then I told this bitch, you're not me. You'll never be me. Refer back to number one, you not me, okay? And I don't know why there's all these people trying to take pictures with me. And it's like, you're not even on my level, okay? You need to stop acting like I'm not the greatest thing to ever grace your presence. In conclusion, the moon in Leo gives one a soul of love and creative outlets of self-expression are awakened in your presence. Furthermore, the moon in Leo gives people's souls attuned to the awesome quality of awakening people's four chakras. So, if you need your heart to be open, go look for a moon in Leo, and they'll do more than just that. They'll also inspire you to do and live the life that you love. Until next time.